Funding for the following program was provided by the Sarah Scaife Foundation, Fleur Corporation, MAPCO Incorporated, and L.E. Phillips Charities. Oh, Mr. Freeburg. Uh. I would not touch that if I were you. Oh? No. Oh. We never open that up here in Washington. Well, I was just going oh. to, uh... <laughs> I see. Well, uh, sorry, sorry. Good evening. I'm Stan Freeberg. Welcome to the Federal Budget Review, or the $600 billion misunderstanding. Mr. Freeberg. Yes? Now you've lost me. I beg your pardon? $600 billion? In real life, is that an actual amount of money? Oh, yes. I'm afraid it is. That's the federal budget of the United States. That's how much money the government spends to run the country for just one year, more or less, you know. It's too much. I can't absorb it. All right. Well, that breaks down to about $2 billion a day the government is spending. Too much? I still can't, can't absorb, absorb it. it. All right. Take a look at this. At the Chamber of Commerce building in Washington, D.C., is a clock. This is some actual film of that clock. Every time the hand sweeps around, the government spends another $10,000. You're kidding. No, with every sweep of the hand, another 10000 is spent. Day and night, seven days a week, and it never stops. See? 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 10000 Oh, the federal budget, the federal budget, the wonderful, fanciful federal budget. Oh, how can the people in Washington judge it? They can't, they can't, they can't. For the budget that used to be 300 million is suddenly hovering at 600 billion. One morning we'll wake up and find it's a trillion. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hasn't the money? What on earth will the government do? Oh, but now's the part that gets funny. They come take it from me and you. They come take it from me and you. The budget you see is the budget you've got. It may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur, we should dump it just outside of Baltimore. With the feds of the jungle, we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me. Hear that the budget is balanced. Don't believe everything that you hear. The same people would probably tell you that the Easter Bunny is here. That the Easter Bunny is here. And the budget you see is the budget you've got. It may seem like an Alice in Wonderland plot, but the sooner you realize that it is not, the better off you'll be. With a budget that's built like a dinosaur. We should dump it just outside of Baltimore. But the feds are the jump. And we're stuck with this lump. With the feds of the jump, and we're stuck with this lump of a gift for you and me. Yeah. Mr. Freeberg, yes. will we ever see the budget? Uh, yeah, right there. No, no. I mean the actual budget. Oh, you, know. you mean the budget itself? Yes. Oh, is that what you'd like to see? Mm. Right. Could we have the federal budget itself, please? The federal budget of the United States of America. You like it here? Mm, mm. How about a little bit to the left? I think uh, I'd like to see it a little open. Open? Open. You want the book open? Mm. Oh. Let's see. I'll help you. No problem. Oh. Mm. 
Just a minute, just a minute. What's going on here? Well, uh, we we're just uh, trying to open the uh, Well, don't you budget. think the United States government has procedures for this kind of thing? Well, could we see one of those procedures then? Yes, you may. What? What? Nice elephant. Mm, yes, but isn't that a little partisan? Pardon me? Well, the elephant's okay for some people, but what about the donkey? No problem. Can we see the donkey, please? There you go. There's a, uh, there's perfect. your donkey. There's your donkey. Perfect, perfect. Of course, yes. How does this budget get to be so big? Oh, well, uh, I'll try to explain to the both of you here. <clears throat> One of the explanations could be the Freeburg political neutron bomb theory. Can you give me that again? Yes. <clears throat> the presidential election every four years is sort of like a political neutron bomb. It blows away the previous administration, but leaves the federal budget standing. You see? You follow that? Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. I'd like to just take this moment to give a big hand to the thousands of bureaucrats and all those nearly invisible bureaus and government agencies for helping to pad this into one of the great federal budgets of our time. Other budgets may come and go, but in the big budget hall of fame, this will be the one to beat. Oh, yeah. The Babe Ruth of budgets. The one that knocked America out of the park. Well, who gets the credit for the work that went into a spectacular budget like this? Huh? Well, it was a team effort, believe me. Not just the people who did so much to waste parts of it, but, you know, those who asked for and got important government grants to fund things like a new $2.8 million building to be attached to the $8.9 million building already standing to house a wheelbarrow full of moon rocks. And then, of course, the now classic federal grant of well over a million dollars to test whether fish get drunker from tequila or gin. Terrific. So I've written a special song about all this, and it was my good fortune to be able to get the lady who's going to sing it for you now. Direct from Broadway, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Millicent Martin. I would like to dedicate this little number to all my friends in the United States Senate and the House of Reps, many of whom I'll write down front tonight. All you guys who keep asking for federal money and get it year after year for all kinds of junk. Well, here's a little number from all of us here in the Federal Budget Review for you. You got your money now, but Mr. Beware billion here, a billion there. Before you know it, you're talking real money. Two million eight to get some lunar rocks. Some day. 